Hello, Russ of Aquarimax here. Today we have an unboxing from Top Notch Isopods. Okay, let's open this package. Very nice uh, of Lauren to send me this package and kind of a promotional uh, situation here so that you can know a little bit more about top-notch isopods they're just starting out you see the website right there topnotchisopods.com there's the email address and it's not just isopods but they do invertebrates and bioactive supplies so there you go top-notch isopods all right looks like there is a letter here and there it is. I can I can put that on the screen. And you're welcome. Yep, glad to do a review of of your package and kind of share share with everyone that you are getting a start and with your website and everything starting to offer things to the hobby here. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got some pandas. Awesome. I have some pandas already, but my colony is fairly uh, small and fairly new, so that'll be good. Let's add these to the existing colony. Okay, this is my Cubara species panda king colony. Let's see, you can see lots of little babies running around in there of the panda kings all over the place. It's a, it's a pretty uh, successful colony. There's a nice adult right there and some juveniles of various ages. You can see a bunch down there on the substrate too. So happy colony, doing well. This, this is a prolific species of Cubaris, if it is indeed Cubaris. But some genetic diversity is never a bad thing. And it is a fairly new colony, so adding some more specimens is going to be great. And there we are. You can see they're active, doing well in there. And of course I'm going to add all of this substrate. You never want to dispose of the substrate that they come in because you could inadvertently be disposing of isopods and it wouldn't be a very difficult thing to do. See, I think one just fell off of that piece of moss I was holding. And if I hadn't been holding it right above the enclosure, I might have lost it. But of course I was holding it above the enclosure because I knew it was up. There's one right there. There's another. Several of them there. That characteristic panda pattern. Pretty cool. There's another one. Another couple of them. Three of them. Right there. Helping to boost the genetic diversity in my colony. Excellent. Thank you. I heard there was going to be a surprise in this package too, as well as some things I already knew about. Ooh, blue death penny beetles. I thought there were only going to be four, but there are five, which is fantastic. Get some genetic diversity in my colony. I do plan on breeding some more again. It looks like they are doing well, all five of them alive, moving around. And many times when they're shipped, they're a little damper than normal, so they they darken up like this, but a few days in the dry, warm confines of their new enclosure, and they will be back to their ghostly glue, ghostly blue. So it looked like they're doing great. Here we are at my desert beetle community tank. You can see a smooth death fanning beetle there, as well as Lavis, close relative of the blue death fanning beetle. And now I'm going to add these specimens. 
I have probably, I don't know, five, uh, I don't know exactly how many species I have in here. I should probably count before I make any guesses, but quite a number of different species of beetle in here. Probably well over five, so. Sometimes I have velvet ants in here, not recently, but I hope to get some soon. Looks like that one is a little reluctant to move, but all the others have been, and that one is definitely alive, just living up to its name, feigning death. But I can see it moving a little bit, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Thank you so much for sending these as well. And here, Spirostreptus species one. This is a millipede species. I keep this species. I have some adults, but I'm trying to get a, a colony going. So specimens of different ages will be uh, a good thing to have. I can see when I'm right there. All right, here is my colony of Spirostreptus species one. I have several adults, like I said. Hoping to get some reproduction out of these adults. I think I've got five, five adults in here. But I need some youngsters. And here are some youngsters. Look at that. Let's get a close look at these folks here. Look at that. Cute little ones. These are about the size of uh, uh, that I got my current adults at. And they were approximately this size. Tiny little guys. So fantastic. Looking forward to getting this colony going, uh, getting a, a breeding colony. I haven't bred this species of millipede yet. I've bred various species of millipede, but not these guys yet. So this helped get that colony going. So I put one in, there's another one. This one's a bit smaller, it looks like. It's two and Three, four, five, six. Oh, some of these are even smaller than the ones I originally got. <laughs> Cute little millipedes. So that's six. That means that would be number seven here. And it's possible there are some others in here too. I don't know. But wow, seven. That's, that's great. That puts me at 12. So with some genetic diversity, hopefully from different uh, stock. So that is fantastic. What's this one? Oh, look at that. Cappuccino. Cubara species cappuccino. I don't have these. So that'll be fun. So before we open these, I would love to give a shout out to my patrons at Patreon. I really appreciate everything you do and really everything that I do on this channel is largely a, re a result of your support. So if you're already helping us at Aquarium X Pets with a donation which can be as little as a dollar a month and it goes up from there, then I really, really need to thank you for what you do. And if you don't already and you'd like to, you can go to Aquarium X Pets on Patreon.com, just do a search, or you can check out the link that I put in the description in all of my videos, or at the end of the video, there is an in screen that will lead you straight to the patreon.com Aquarium Max Pets page. So thank you very much once again. And now on to these Cubaris species cappuccino. Look at those. Wow, that is a super cool effect. Never seen these in real life. And they are fantastic. It's really striking. I hope it's coming through on film because it's a really striking effect in, uh, you know, face to face like this. I'm face to face with that little critter right there in the middle. Look at that. Look at that face. we get a better look at that? Wow. I could sit and stare at these all day. 
but I don't think that would be particularly good for them. Probably dry them out. So, there we go. Chunky little ones. I think I've heard them described as little tanks. Which seems pretty appropriate. Ooh, that one surprised me. There's one. Let's get another close-up look there. This right here. Love that. There's another little one right there. You can see it conglobating. Alright. They're in. There's a couple of them right there. Doing their thing. Hey, look. Make it just a little bit more visible, hopefully. There we go. Thanks for watching today, and thank you to Lauren from Top Notch Isopods for sending me all of these. Super excited. Did not know I was getting cappuccinos today, and very excited about all the others as well. So thank you. And if you haven't checked out topnotchisopods.com, go ahead and give it a look. And as you know, I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays now, all about aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. Please feel free to share, rate, comment if you haven't already. Subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.